Hey everyone, while my family wasn't with me on this trip, I recently camped inside the Channel Islands National Park and loved it. Widely considered to be America's version of the Galapagos, the islands are home to over 2,000 species of plants and animals, with 140-ish only found on these islands. To start, getting there is easier than you think. Setting out from Ventura Harbor, my buddies and I booked a ride through Island Backpackers. Having booked a site at Lower Scorpion Campground, we had no problem getting the necessary tickets to get dropped off on Santa Cruz Island. Our boat departed at 9 a.m. and it took about 45 minutes to complete the 19 mile crossing. On the way, there were a surprising amount of things to see and I was completely surprised by how many dolphins we saw. It was crazy to see them just bolt for a boat just so they could surf and play in the wake. Once we got to Scorpion Ranch and onto the pier, the visitors get split up into campers and day use groups where they get a quick island orientation from either their park ranger or guides. Near the beach, you can find a welcoming kiosk that says what you can do on the island and the Scorpion Ranch Visitor Center next to it that will teach you about the island's history, from old ranches spread throughout the island in the past to the Chumash people that lived here even before that. The lower campgrounds are about 0.3 miles from that and it takes about five minutes to walk there. The campground sites are basic since you can't have fires on the island, but they're all lined up through a small canyon that gets noticeably cooler than the shore, so it's a good idea to dress in layers. As for the beach, it's very rocky, but Channel Islands National Park is known for what lies beneath the water, and most folks come to Scorpion Ranch for its guided kayaking tours, which you can book online before you arrive. It looked a lot of fun, and the folks I spoke to about their experience enjoyed it. We opted to snorkel instead, and rented all the necessary gear there on the island from Channel Island Adventure Company who are located in between the visitor center and the lower campgrounds. I opted to get everything, which included a full wetsuit, snorkel set, and fins, and it kept me nice and warm in the 58 degree water. In there, we saw bright orange Garibaldi, large sea bass, giant crabs, and even a tiny octopus. Even more incredible is that you can see all that without even going past the pier. You're swimming in the kelp beds as soon as you're in the water, and it was a highlight of our trip for sure. On land, Scorpion Ranch also has a few hikes to other parts of the island. We hiked the 1.7 mile Cavern Point Loop Trail. Starting from the lower campgrounds, it circled back to the visitor center near the pier. And we saw a handful of beautiful lookout points while we walked the bluffs. And had the entire section of the island to ourselves for most of the walk. And after sunset, we made our way back to the visitor center to watch the park rangers play a 16 minute video about the Chumash crossing that takes place every year. It's a powerful short film and worth your time if you're staying on the island. Just staying the night, it was easy to see how unplugged the Channel Islands are from the rest of the world. And it's worth a visit, just like the rest of the nation's national parks. If you'd like to see the parks that we've been lucky enough to experience, check them out here and let us know which ones you think we should go to next. We hope to see you back next Tuesday as we get back to the kids' content around California.